our deep sea collection has washed ashore. Keep watching this video if you are interested in getting a closer look at the palette and the nail lacquers. First up is our Deep Sea Treasures Nail Lacquer Trio. Each lacquer contains four milliliters of product. From left to right, we have Ring of Fire, Sunken Treasure, and Cephalopod. First up, we are gonna start with Ring of Fire. This multi-chrome nail lacquer features red hot shimmering micro flakes that shift from red, orange, peach, and yellow. It is one of the two lacquers in this trio that also has a shadow counterpart in the Deep Sea Treasures palette. Formula-wise, we recommend building this up in two to three coats. It will depend on your application style and your nail length. Shown here, it's worn in two coats albeit not my best application. But as you can see, it built to opacity. And here's a closer look at Ring of Fire as a full manicure. Next up, we have Sunken Treasure Nail Lacquer. This is a rich cobalt to violet shifting lacquer that features gold reflective micro glitter and real 24 karat gold flakes. Yep, you heard that right, 24 karat gold. This lacquer has the perfect balance of the blue shifting base. We did not want it to be too saturated where it would obscure the gold flakes. However, it's still saturated enough that it will build to opacity while still showing the true complexity of the other components. In fact, we didn't want you to have to fish too far for those gold flakes, so we jam-packed it so that each nail can get a nice, even dispersion. Shown here, Sunken Treasure is worn in two coats. This is the only nail lacquer of the trio that does not have an eyeshadow counterpart within the palette. I love this shot here, as you can really see the reflective micro glitter coming through. Last but not least, we have Cephalopod. This lacquer was appropriately named after the class of animals called cephalopods, which contain animals like octopus, squid, and cuttlefish. These animals have the ability to change their color based on their surroundings and activity. Much like the animals, this lacquer is also very color shifty. Cephalopod features a pinky mauve shimmer that shifts bright green, aqua, and pink. The base tone in this lacquer is a little more sheer, so it can make for a great topper, or you can build it up in two to three coats, depending on your desired finish. Shown here is two coats. However, in this clip, the thumb is shown with three coats on it, while the full manicure shot with the rest of the fingers is two coats. Now it's time to unearth the sunken treasure chest itself, our Deep Sea Treasures palette. This palette is housed in custom artwork that is printed to look just like a treasure chest. So you'll get to open the chest to see your prized jewels within. The front of the palette features hand-painted artwork which has been transposed digitally. Some of the shadow names within are actually reflected in this artwork. Its compact size makes it ideal as a companion palette to add a little special something to any eyeshadow look. The Deep Sea Treasures Specialty Eyeshadow Palette contains eight shades with hues of the deep sea and bright accents in varying multi-chromatic finishes. It's the perfect blend of color and neutrals with a twist, making it versatile to suit anyone's taste. When you open the palette, you'll see eight full-sized eyeshadows. These are the same eyeshadow pans as our stained glass collection, so you might be familiar with the size. Each pan has a minimum guaranteed of 1.5 grams of product. This is what the packaging is labeled as. However, on average, they have about two grams of product in them and can even go up to 2.5 grams. This variance is due to several reasons. One, we hand make our eyeshadows in Toronto, Canada, so naturally they won't be the exact same. Additionally, the pigments have different densities. This is another reason why we see differences in the actual weight. As with all our shadows, our Talkin filler-free formula delivers luxurious quality products with a high concentration of pigments. A little goes a long way. Now it's time to take a look at the individual eyeshadows themselves. First up, we have Saltwater Pearl. As the name suggests, this was inspired by a pearl. 
This bright silver shadow has a sheer seafoam green base with aqua shifts and a little hint of warmth in there. It's truly hard to capture this effect on camera. This eyeshadow is very finely milled and has a luxuriously smooth consistency. It is super shiny and will make for the perfect inner corner highlight. The second eyeshadow is the Benz. It features a rich teal base with large glitter particles shifting lilac, beige, yellow with hints of lime. Due to the larger particle size, we recommend using a tacky eye primer. This will help prevent any glitter fallout throughout the day. As with all of the eyeshadows in this palette, the glitter is mineral based and not made of plastic. Next up is Fool's Gold. This eyeshadow sports a warm brown base with yellow lime aqua shifts and hints of purple. It might not be made of real gold like our Sunken Treasure nail lacquer, however, it is just as beautiful. As you can see from the swatch, Fool's Gold has a metallic finish. The fourth shadow in the palette is Kelp Forest. It has a deep cool brown base with green, turquoise, blue, and indigo shifts. This is a bright yet murky eyeshadow that I think a lot of you will love. Our fifth eyeshadow in the palette is Ring of Fire. This eyeshadow has the largest particle size within the palette. It has red hot sparkles that shift red, orange, peach, and yellow. Again, because of the large particle size, you're going to want to use a tacky base. However, it smooths out really easily. This is the counterpart eyeshadow of the nail lacquer, also named Ring of Fire. Ring of Fire is definitely an eyeshadow you're going to want to see in person. It is so vibrant. Next up is Cephalopod the second eyeshadow counterpart to the nail lacquer shown earlier. Cephalopod is a large glitter particle shadow with a pinky mauve base and bright green, aqua, and pink shifts. Once again, we recommend using a tacky eyeshadow primer. Our second last shade in the palette is Shipwreck. It is a very smooth black to red to orange shifting eyeshadow with hints of gold and indigo micro shimmer. Shipwreck is super dimensional and really easy to work with. It has a satin to metallic finish and easily blends out. The final eyeshadow in our Deep Sea Treasures palette is SCUBA. SCUBA, as an acronym, actually stands for Self-Contained Underwater Breathing Apparatus. It features a slate gray base with medium glitter particles that subtly shift from indigo, violet, to peach with hints of yellow. If you love a good, cool tone smoky eye, this one is for you. Now I'll swatch all eight eyeshadows for you together. We're so happy with how this color story came out. It gives all the vibes of the deep sea, a little mysterious, a little murky, with pops of bright tones reminiscent of sunken treasure. Here are a few clips of the swatches shown in different lighting. Whether you prefer color or you're a neutral lover, I believe this palette can suit anyone. Additionally, I've included some photos of the eyeshadows on two different complexions. We're going to do some comparisons between the eight eyeshadows within the Deep Sea Treasures palette to some of our existing stained glass collection. I will be comparing the most similar shades for you to get a closer look. Keep in mind, not all of them have similar options. For each comparison, I will list the shadows in the order from my knuckles to the wrist. First up is a comparison between Lucidum, 
our series two iridescent to saltwater pearl. Because lucidum is a true iridescent, it has a more sheer base. Our next comparison is climbing vine towards the knuckles. This is one of our earth vibrant shades. In the middle is the bends from the palette and towards the wrist is emblem, one of our electric multichromes. Our third comparison is Citron, Fool's Gold, and Estate. Citron is from the Deep Iridescent subcategory of our stained glass collection, and Estate is an Earth Vibrant. Our fourth comparison is Wall of Ivy, Help Forest, and Embroidery. Wall of Ivy is an Earth Vibrant, and embroidery is a hybrid. Now let's compare Ring of Fire. Torch from our glitter multichromes. In the middle is Ring of Fire. And then we have Eris, part of our hybrid multichromes. Our sixth comparison is carving, cephalopod, and adornment. Both carving and adornment are part of our glitter multichromes. Our second last comparison is weld and shipwreck. Weld is a jeweled multichrome from our stained glass collection. Although these are not anywhere close to one another, I thought I'd show you anyways. In hindsight, I could have compared it with Kiln. However, Shipwreck is truly unlike any other shade we have. As for our final comparison, we have Tapestry, then Scuba, King's Feast, and Lapis Lazuli. Tapestry and King's Feast are part of the hybrid multichromes and Lapis Lazuli is a deep iridescent. If you have made it this far, thank you so much for watching. We're so excited to finally be releasing the Deep Sea Treasures collection. We hope you all will love it as much as we do. If you found this video helpful, please make sure to like and subscribe to our channel. You can also follow us on Instagram and TikTok using at Cleona Cosmetics.